right, what's going on everybody? It's Rock with Rock with Modern Survival. I'm back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, I know it's a little bloody out here and I'm sorry about that. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to butcher a rabbit properly or process a rabbit properly, however you want to put it. Uh, I've already done six of them. This is number seven right here. Um, I have already dispatched it to where he is no longer alive. He or she, I'm not sure which one it is yet. Um, basically, we're just going to show you how to skin it. I'm going to walk you through what I did to actually uh, process the whole thing and everything like that, okay? So what I did was I took my hammer, all right, and I bonked it on the head just, right, just like that, all right? I did it on the ground. So um, one good solid swoop, and he's taken care of. That's all you got to do. The tools that I use for this whole situation is a hammer, a flay knife, and a pair of uh, pruning shears. That's all you need. I get two gallon bags because that fits about seven rabbits in them. And then uh, I just put them all in the same bag. Now I'm going to take them here in a minute. And I'm actually going to wash them off, but I want to get completely done first. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to hang it up. And I just got a simple butcher's knot in it on the, on the feet is all I got. All right? So I, I cut his throat, all right? I let him bleed out. As you see, he's got all the blood down there. He's already bled out. But what I like to do after I cut his throat is I like to take the pruning shears. I like to go to the back of the spine and just cut it off, all right? Whenever you can open the shears, there you go. You cut the spine off, all right? And sometimes you can actually get the pruning shears just take the whole head off. So you just take the whole head off and if there's any blood inside of it, it'll just keep draining out. But then, but the main reason I do that is for this right here. Um, whenever you're done cutting it, when you pull it all down, it'll all just come straight off. All right. So what you want to do is take your knife, start it at your feet, cut down, but try not to cut in, into the meat. All right. It's going to be hard and you're going to end up doing it. So don't get frustrated if you, if you cut into the meat at all. And this, there we go. This, I think this one's going to be a little difficult because I'm trying to do this one on camera. All the other ones were super simple. This one is going to be a pain in the butt because this is, happens to be the last one of the day. Uh, I've already, like I said, I already butchered six of them. And uh, I didn't want to butcher these guys because they were so friendly and so nice. Like they, they were probably the, the friendliest bunch of rabbits I've had on the homestead so far. See right there, I cut into a little meat. No big deal, it's not gonna ruin your meat. It's not gonna ruin your rabbit. Um, it's just one of those things that happens, all right? And oh, I like to wear my gloves. I get the um, the five mil gloves from Harbor Freight. So I wear them. So after you cut, them, cut it here, you wanna come down and pull down until you get down to the hip section, okay? Now, whenever you get to the hip section, you're going to grab this tuck of fur right here, all right? You're going to take your knife, and you're going to just pull it out from the skin and cut down into it, all right? Don't go crazy and just try to butcher it all through there. You want to slowly cut through there because what you're doing is cutting through all of that skin, all that fur. All right, there you go. And whenever you do that, boom, all right? See, now you're into the actual skin. And what I did was I actually started my cut all right for the actual um from the actual inside and then you want to flip it around take the tail off for you to tell tell to your dogs if you want to they like the tail um and there's the bladder so be careful okay i'm going to cut the bladder off here in a second there we go so you didn't want to come off i'm going to go ahead and cut the bladder off so it um so i don't have to deal with it and then it's going to take it i'm going to pull it down pull it right off all right and then we'll take it and put it over there in the grass for my dogs at my house not the neighbor dogs because they already have a couple furs so then you want to take your fingers and you want to spread out your ribs and watch the guts you want to use your fingers to kind of push the guts back and just uh, go down through here cut them out sometimes the guts with a rabbit the guts are bigger than the rabbit is that's the worst part about it. So, pull everything out. I'm going to pull the butthole out here in a minute. So you just go down so far to where you can pull everything out at one time. 
Then you're gonna be stuck with the kidneys. Pull them out. All right. Make sure you get those out. Then you come back up here to the top. Break his rib. Break his hips. And then uh, make a nice little cut, a V, a V cut, into the hip muscle itself. Break it again. Get into the pooper. Pull the pooper out. Just like that. All right. It, it, you don't have to do this pretty, you don't have to do it beautiful. You just do it to where you get all the crap out of it, all right? You wanna make sure you don't have any excess junk on it, all right? And I'll, you'll clean it up after we're all done. So I'm gonna go down the rest of the way, cut it, cut it all the way down, cut it down to the lungs. There we go, pop open the lungs, pull the lungs out, pull the heart out, and that's it, all right? You want to pop it, you want to spread her open, get it all up in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, sometimes it's a little hard. There we go. I like to just kind of clean her up sometimes and uh, make it look a little prettier. I don't cut any of the meat away, I just like to cut her up and make it look a little prettier. So now, what we're going to do. We're going to go through and take the fat off. All this excess fat just kind of hanging on there. I, just, I like to take it off just to clean it up, make it look pretty. It uh, sticks to your hands really good. <laughs> I just fling it. So, yeah. But that's about it, guys. That's how you really butcher and process a rabbit. It's super simple. It does not take a long time. Um, now, once we're done here, the one thing we're going to do is take all the fur and crap off there we go double check your butthole make sure you got everything out of there all right and I got a little extra stuff here I want to take out there we go so then we come to the pruning shears again come down here to the, the feet cut them off put them into the bucket come up to the top cut it off if I can get it off I gotta sharpen my shears and right there and that's it. That's how you process a rabbit. And uh, so what she's going to do, she's going to go in the bag. I'm going to go clean them all up. And uh, then that's dinner, all right? It won't be dinner tonight. What I want to do is I want to let it sit for about three days. So it kind of takes all the blood flavor out of it and the gamey flavor out of it and stuff like that. Now with tame rabbits, you don't really get the gamey flavor. But I do want to let it sit and take away the blood flavor. Because there will be a little bit of a uh, flavor to it for a while, all right? Just for a couple days just because of the um the uh the, the fact that you just uh butchered it so that's it guys i uh, hope y'all had a wonderful day god bless everybody and i hope you learned a little something